Hello. These days we are asked one question very commonly in subjects who have PCOS. Is there an association between endometrial cancer and PCOS? The answer is yes. However, can we prevent it? Yes, to quite a great extent. To prevent something, we identify the risk factors. Overweight and obese subjects. They are at higher risk. Women who menstruate for a longer time in their life, who start menstruating early, say before 12, and go on menstruating well beyond 50, they have a higher chance. Women between the age group of 50 and 70 who had PCOS, women with diabetes, hypertension, and interestingly, women who had colonic cancer before the age of 50 are likely to be more at risk for developing endometrial cancer. How to reduce the risk then? Get your PCOS treated religiously. Reach a healthy body weight and maintain it. Avoid fats in diet. And get pap smears and pelvic examinations regularly by your gynecologist. They will tell you about it. Common question which we are asked is, does lifestyle change help in prevention? Yes. Are there any medicines which can help? Yes, there are progestones and metformin, but that you leave to we doctors. For you, lifestyle change is important. Remember, endometrial cancer starts in the lining of the uterus, what we call as endometrium. And it starts increasing in thickness before converting itself into malignancy. And this, at the stage of increasing thickness, you will be able to pick up. Therefore, get endometrial thickness regularly checked once you are in that vulnerable age group and if you have PCOS all the more and if the thickness is increasing, your gynecologist will tell you that yes, there is a danger when it crosses a prescribed limit. But that you leave it to your gynecologist. There are some foods which can help in reducing the thickness of endometrial lining or prevent it from becoming thicker. Foods like fibrous foods, fruits, vegetables, and rich foods like green leafy vegetables, broccoli, etc. Food rich in essential fatty acids like salmon, sardines, or seeds like walnuts, chia, and flax seeds. These are all helpful. So if you are aware about it, if you are determined, you have a PCOS and you are determined to reduce the risk, take these steps, regular exercises, maintaining the diet, and maintaining the weight thereafter and regular checking of your endometrial thickness at the vulnerable age group, you will be able to prevent to a great extent endometrial cancer. Thank you, friend.